Welcome to premiere week. I'm so glad you're here. All right, so first of all, premiere week. What is premiere week? Because this is the intro video to premiere week. Premiere week is when I come on and I show a week's worth of yarn from premiere yarns. I show you five yarns. Well, actually, we're doing six yarns this week because our hat has two different yarns in it. We have six yarns this week. We are doing five tutorials, one for every day, Monday through Friday. I hope that you will join me. I showed, well, first of all, to start off with, we're doing a wide variety of patterns. Two of the patterns you will see are on me and Winifred right there. <clears throat> they are made for plus size bodies, but that does not mean you have to make them if you're a plus size person to be plus size. Like I make them so that you can make them in all sizes. You can even adjust to a child size for all of my tutorials that are clothes based. And I tell you how to adjust it so that it fits whatever body you have to make this for. <laughs> okay. And in the past for Premiere Week, I have seen exactly that happen. People take the pattern and do the adjustments that I tell them to do, and they make it anywhere from toddler sized all the way up to 5 and 6X, and even beyond if you needed to. I tell you in the tutorial how to make the pattern to fit your body, or the person you're making it for is body, whoever. <laughs> I'm really excited this year specifically. I worked extra hard. And the two shirts that you're seeing here are actually two of my favorite designs I've ever created. These are patterns and designs created by yours truly. I designed these. I created them based off the yarns I wanted to use and the functionality I wanted them to have. I tried to really think about the yarn and use its best characteristics. Matter of fact, I should probably grab the yarn. I have it all in a Premier Yarns bag so that I have it all. You don't need this much yarn. This is, I have variations in colors. All right, now, hopefully I didn't show my address or I'll have to edit that out. But to start off with, day one is going to be this really cute water bottle. And it's made from... See, I dumped it and I can't find it. It's made from hipster cotton. And the reason I used the hipster cotton is because it looks like tie-dye. Where did it go? <laughs> We're not put together just because this is a big deal and this is premier week. There it is. It was under the rest. I chose hipster cotton, but I'm going to tell you right off the bat, hipster cotton and the cotton sprout yarn are basically interchangeable. They are really similar. Now, for this top, we use the cotton sprout yarn, but you can use the hipster in place on this, and you can use the cotton sprout in place of this if you so choose. Um, the difference is the cotton sprout comes in worsted and it comes in DK weight, and the hipster is DK weight. So you can absolutely interchange these because they're. I mean, the width difference is minute. So if you wanted to use the hipster instead for this, you absolutely could. These completely interchangeable. They also work together. However, I would suggest using the cotton sprout in the ball, which is the DK version, if you're going to mix them together in a project. And we actually have a tutorial here on the channel that we did I think two years ago for Premier Week and we mixed the DK version of the Cotton Sprout with the Hipster and made a really cute t-shirt and it, it's one of my favorite designs as well because it was really popular and a lot of people made it because they really liked the look of the, the, the Hipster Cotton. The Hipster Cotton is meant to have a look of tie-dyed and it's a really nice cotton. It's a cotton that you can use for things like water bottles, but also it makes beautiful garments. And I know that because we did the t-shirt in the, the hipster cotton. Um, the cotton sprout, we'll get to the cotton sprout in a minute. We're talking hipster. The hipster comes in lots of different colors. They all look like tie-dyed. They're tie-dyed colors. The color I used for this tutorial for the water bottle is the color Melonberry. But we have shades of blues and greens. 
on my shelf right here. Let me grab that. <clears throat> These are two other colorways that they have of the hipster cotton. There's a lot. The shirt, the t-shirt we made two years ago was the color Rainbow Roller Skates, I believe. This one is Desert Skies. So it has pink and tan and oh, a grayish cream. And then two shades of blue. And then this one I also have is Hello Hydrangea. <coughs> I know that I have more of this in stash somewhere. But these are the two that I found. <laughs> so lots of beautiful colors of the hipster cotton for either the water bottle or you could use it in this style shirt absolutely and for the tutorial for this i tell you not only how to make the short little handle but you can also do crossbody. like if you want it my purpose for this is very frequently i will be carrying my beverage and i will have my phone in my hand and my keys which also have like this cute little loop on it so and I need to open the door and I need to stop the dogs from coming out and I need to help the kids get in the house. And I'm carrying groceries or I'm carrying a bag of yarn. And so that's why I really thought to make the water bottle. And I also made one with, which I don't have currently, I think it's over there somewhere, but I also made one as a prototype for this one, which is cross body with a long strap. So I can just hang it for on those days I'm outside walking or hiking or doing whatever in the yard. I have my bottle close by so I can stay hydrated because hydration is very important, especially with someone like me who has diabetes. It is very important to stay hydrated. So this is for the health of all of us. Now, the next tutorial, that's the hipster cotton. The next tutorial we did, we did this really super cute hat, the diamond hat. Really easy hat pattern. We added the diamonds because we wanted to be extra. <laughs> It's not how you're supposed to wear it, but like I'm showing you the, the cute little diamonds. And we used two yarns together. And I made an extra long brim because I like the extra long brim. I like to wear a ponytail often, and so I made my hat a little bit longer. But I show you how to adjust. You can make the, the, the band as thick or as thin as you want it to be. And the yarn I used for this is I used, I don't have the blue anymore because I used it all. But this is Premier Basics. And this is... The pink is the, this colorway actually, the Basics Mosaic. <clears throat> they're both a four weight. They're both the Basics line. Um, they're both 100% acrylic, but I just picked, and these colors don't even necessarily go together because there's not really a lot of blue in here, but I picked colors that like kind of offset each other. And I still think it looks really cool with like, even though they're not matchy, but if you wanted to do more matchy, you could pick like this color has a lot more blue in it. Or you could pick a yellow to go with this one. Or you could pick a pink or a purple to go with this one. So the color that I used in this hat is the color Bouquet. It's like a bouquet of flowers. It's very pretty. It's very highly saturated colors. They also have, I think, a primary color of it. But see how it works up? It kind of... Your eye doesn't see all the colors from a distance. It just sees like shades of pink, right? But close up, it's like all the colors, right? And then this one is the color cuddle. Like you're cuddling your partner or your dog. And this would look really good with a yellow or with a blue or a pink. Or there's green in there too, but like the green is kind of washed out. So that is the diamond hat. So that is tutorial number two. And for this one, I, I did a shopping list on Tuesday to tell you how many skeins of yarn you needed for each. So for the water bottle, you can probably get two water bottles out of one ball of the hipster cotton. And the hipster cotton, I, where's my price? Where's my prices? I made notes, I really did. The hipster cotton retails for $4.99, but can I tell you when I purchased it, I paid $7.99 for this ball, and now it's $4.99, which is a way better deal. Um, the To make the hat, and you can make several hats out of these, you need two alternating colors. So if you wanted to do two solids, you can, but if you wanted to do a mosaic and a solid, you can do that as well. 
all of the basics yarns, the mosaic and the regular, is $3.99 a ball. You have lots of options in colors because the basics line is extensive. The solid specifically comes in a ton of colors. The mosaic comes in a handful of colors, but they, I mean, there's lots of options to match the yarns up to make fun, vibrant colors for your hat. And then day three is, we're calling it a utility bag. <laughs> the reason we're calling it a utility bag is it is very a cute, it's a cute purse. It's a cute project bag, but I also made this as a garbage bag for my daughter's car. So it is meant to actually hang over her car seat and have a liner in there and it's a garbage bag. But it's too dang cute to be a garbage bag. So it's also a project bag, a purse, a beach bag, a farmer's market bag. You can make the strap as long or as short as you want. So it can be cross bodied if you want. You can make it shorter to hang on your headrest of your car or wherever you need it to hang at. This yarn is, and actually, yep, it's down here in this box. <laughs> this is the Sweet Roll Frosty yarn. Now, originally I thought it was only going to take one ball to make this bag, and then as I'm, it took a ball and a half to make this size bag. It's going to take about a ball and a quarter, so like two cakes. You're going to need two cakes to make this size bag. So this is the color Slushy. Now what I'm going to tell you about this yarn is this is also 100% acrylic. The mosaic and the basics are 100% acrylic. Um, this is a four weight. This stuff is significantly softer, squishier than most of the yarns on the market. And when it works up, this yarn makes fantastic just everything. It's so squishy. Hats, scarves, mittens, blankets, baby items, sweaters, you name it, this yarn will do your jobs. Okay, can you imagine like a whole sweater in this yarn? It would be so fantastic. <laughs> I kind of need to make one, but I don't have enough, so I may have to buy more yarn. So like I said, this is the color Slushy. It is very much a rainbow yarn, yellow, blue, purple, pink. It is just gorgeous. It's a four weight, 100% acrylic. I said that um, you definitely need two balls for the bag. It comes in lots of fun summery colors because it is very much a summer colored line of yarn. This one is my favorite. They also have a variety that is green and blue, I think, that I also really liked. And I actually made a sweater out of that too, and that is featured one of the Premier Week videos. That was a poncho. I made a poncho out of it. And it might not have been a Premier Week. I will link it below. It's a poncho out of the same yarn. This stuff is squish, it's fantastic, it's warm, but it also makes a really, really cute bag. Is that not adorable? Summer, spring, doesn't matter. So that is day three of the tutorials. I need two balls of that. I will link everything below. I'll link everything below. Day four is this beautiful, it is a poncho top, okay? It is on Winifred. It is gorgeous. This is made out of the Cotton Sprout, which I featured a little bit ago. I was telling you about it. This comes, this is the, the Cotton Sprout Worsted because there is a DK version of the Cotton Sprout. The Cotton Sprout DK version has speckles, which we featured last year in the tank top we did. We mixed the speckles with the, the solid colors of the DK. And this year we were, we're doing the worsted. Okay. This colorway is the colorway saltwater taffy. I ordered a bunch to make this shirt and didn't realize I had enough in my stash already. So I have 10 more balls of this. That just looks pink, don't it? You got to open it up to see the colors. It's all these colors. There's yellow, green, blue, and pink in the saltwater taffy. And each ball looks differently depending on the way it's wrapped. This cotton is soft, it's squishy. Again, you can make a matching water bottle out of the, this cotton sprout, or you can swap and use the hipster yarn for the shirt. Interchangeable. There is a difference in the yarn weight between the cotton sprout and the hipster. The hipster's a three weight, don't forget. But there's also the DK version of Cotton Sprout. So you can use any of those three products. What I used was the Cotton Sprout Worsted in the color Saltwater Taffy. 
They also have this gorgeous color, which is Fruit Punch, which is yellow and orange and pink. Or this color, which is Luau, which is navy blue, pink, yellow, a little bit of orange maybe, lighter blue, green. Like This got a lot of colors in it. Isn't that pretty? Uh, but they also have beautiful solid colors. This is peach, aqua, teal. You can make this in a solid all the way through. You can make your own stripes by just getting like these three and doing a couple rows of this and a couple rows of this one and a couple rows of that one. Or you can buy the self-striping one and do this. This shirt is a poncho style shirt, so this this size really will fit anywhere from like an extra large to a 3X. Um, because it's meant to be poncho style, loose on your body. Um, this took five balls of the cotton sprout worsted. Now if you change it up and use either the hipster or the cotton sprout DK, I still would get five balls just to be safe, but it probably will only take you four balls because I think there's more yardage in those, but I still would st stick to the five balls just to be safe. Um, beautiful, beautiful drape, really soft, luscious cotton for, if you've ever used, I love this cotton from, from Hobby Lobby. It's really similar. It's really similar, <clears throat> but I like the cotton sprout better because I really like the colors. All right, now finally, I'm going to have to stand up to show you the Pico's Bill shirt. Now, this is my favorite thing I have ever made of all time. And I did it a little differently. There is sewing involved in this shirt. But, like, I love the way this shirt looks. The ribbing is created separately and you have to sew it on, but it was not difficult to do. And then each one of these is its own separate panels. So you have to sew it here and you have to seam it up the sides. Okay. And what I did on mine is I added a cute little peekaboo. <laughs> I added a peekaboo on the back. So you don't have to do that, but I do tell you how I did it in the tutorial because as I was pinning it on my mannequin to sew it up and make sure it fit because she's she's a size smaller than me but I use her a lot to size things for my body and I was like wait a minute as I was pinning I was like there's a cute little peekaboo section we're just gonna leave that <laughs> hopefully you guys could see it on the video because I can't see if I could I can't see behind my back so that is what is going oh and for this I used six balls of the painterly yarn in the color Sunday brunch it's very muted, but this is also a colorway of the painterly yarn. So if you wanted to be just extra and do it in neon colors, more power to you because they have neons. So those are your options. This one's more of a white base with really bold fluorescent colors on it. Whereas the one I used for my top is a cream base with more muted pastel colors. Either would be gorgeous in this top. You need six balls for this. Oh, I also have this colorway of it. This is another colorway, entirely different colorway. This is the color Jam Session. So, again, it's got the cream base, but the colors are much more bold. Any of those colors would be beautiful in this top. And I really would love one in neon because I, I'm in love with this shirt. And I just threw yarn on the floor. But those are our tutorials for premiere week. Let me stand up here next to Winifred. And I made her too tall. Now she's taller than me. Love these. Love these. I'm so excited about the tutorials coming up this week. I really hope that you will join us and make some of these tutorials. Um, this top can also be made crop top style. So you can make this as long as you want. So if you would rather this hit you higher than mine, then you would just make this panel smaller, which I do show you how to do in the tutorial. Let's see how cute is that. 
So you can make it whatever length you're comfortable in. Same thing with that. I teach you how to make it customized to your body and I tell you how to adjust it for width, length, all of the things. So those are the yarns that we're featuring this week. These are the tutorials and you actually get to see one on like a real human. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about this week and I really do hope that you guys are going to join me with these tutorials and all the links for the yarn will be linked below. Um, all Anything that I've mentioned will be linked below. I will try to also remember to link the Cotton Sprout DK version in case you want to do speckles instead of stripes, which would be so cute in that. Um, but also, like I said, you can intermix the cottons. The Cotton Sprout Worsted, the Cotton Sprout DK, the Cotton Sprout DK Worst or DK Sprinkles, the Cotton Sprout Worsted Multis, which is what we used here, and the Hipster, they're all 100% cotton. They can all be kind of interchanged together. Um, and the bag and the hat, like you can also intermix either of these because they're both a worsted weight number four. <clears throat> so... Or you can use the the new. You can also use the new ombre yarn for either of those tutorials as well if you wanted. That Premiere offers because that's brand new and it wasn't here in time for me to do a tutorial on it, but like, it's here. <laughs> so those are your options. Those are what we're doing this week. Thank you so much for watching this little intro video to Premiere Week. I will see you all next week with five fantastic tutorials. I worked really really hard on these tutorials and I'm really proud of especially the two shirts and I can't wait to see you in them. I can't wait to see what you created and what color you chose and if you altered it in any way. I'm so excited about this week and I'm so glad that you're here to join me for it and I will see you tomorrow with the water bottle tutorial. Bye guys!